Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Hi, it's me Puan Asra. With me today is Puan Fatimah to Zahra binti Othman, our sign language interpreter from SK Putrajaya Precinct 181. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. Today, I am going to talk about time. Before we get started, let's take a look at the learning objectives, which you are going to learn for today. First, we are going to recognize minute graduation on the clock face. Second, we are going to solve problems involving daily life situations. Make sure you have your textbook, notes and stationaries with you. Before we start, Try to recall what you have learned in the time topic before. Do you still remember the clock? You can see the different types of clocks around you. There are clocks like this. This is an analog clock. There are numbers, graduations, hour hand, minute hand, and second hand on the clock face. There are clocks like this. This is a digital clock. Just like an analog clock, a digital clock also has number on the clock face. But there are no graduations. Our hand, minute hand, and second hand on the clock face. In your opinion, where does this situation occur? That's right! This situation occurs inside a clock shop. There are various types of clocks in this shop. There are analog clocks and there are also digital clocks. Can you imagine or think or guess what is the dialogue between the girl and her father? Wow! How clever you are! Of course, the girl asked her father about the graduations on the clock face. Let's look at this slide. This is a clock's face. There are numbers 1 to 12 and graduations on the clock's face. This is an hour hand. The short hand is the hour hand. This is a minute hand. The minute hand is longer than the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. Some of you may be wondering, what is the sign in the circled area? Am I right? This is called a graduation. One graduation is one minute. Look at this slide. How many graduations are there between 12 and 1? Hmm. There are five graduations, right? One graduation is one minute. Therefore, five graduations mean five minutes. If I change the question, 
How many minutes are there between 12 and 1? What is your answer? Yes, correct. The answer is 5 minutes. Wow, congratulations. You can read the graduations on the clock's face now. Let's try some exercises. Look at picture A. How many minutes can you see in the green area? Can you count the graduation in that area? That's right! Between 12 and 2, there are 10 graduations. You can count the graduations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 graduations. So, the answer is 10 minutes. Why 10 minutes? Remember, one graduation is one minute. So, 10 graduations is 10 minutes. Let's take a look at picture B. How many minutes are there in the green area? Can you count the graduation in that area? Yes! Excellent! Between 12 and 5, there are 25 graduations. Again, one graduation is one minute. Therefore, 25 graduations is 25 minutes. Do you remember a quarter of an hour, a half hour, and an hour? What has these got to do with the minutes? Take a look at this slide. This picture shows a quarter of an hour or one over four of the clock face. How many minutes is this quarter? Can you count with me? Or how many graduations for a quarter of an hour? Oh, that's right. A quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. How do you get the answer? Apart from counting one by one, the graduations can also be counted in fives. This means each number on the clock face equals to five minutes. Five, ten, fifteen. A quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. What about half an hour? This picture shows half an hour or 1 over 2 of the clock's face. How many minutes are there in this half? Can you count how many graduations are there in half an hour? Brilliant! Half an hour is equal to 30 minutes. How did you get the answer? You have learnt a moment ago. Each number on the clock's face is equal 
to five minutes. So, five minutes and 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 five minutes, and five minutes is equal to thirty minutes. Or you can use the addition to get the answer. Five minutes plus 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 five minutes, plus five minutes is equal to thirty minutes. What about an hour? Is that one hour moving on one graduation only? Or is that one hour moving on one number only? Or is that one hour moving in one complete circle on the clock's face? Let's us find the answer together. One hour means the minute hand moves in one complete circle on the clock's face. What is one complete circle? One complete circle is when the minute hand moves clockwise from number 1 to number 12. How many minutes are there? In one hour. Can you count the graduation for one hour? Well done! Your answer is correct. One hour equals 60 minutes. How did you get 60 minutes? You can count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Therefore, one hour equals 60 minutes. Other than using addition, you can use multiplication to get the answer. Because multiplication is also a repeated addition. 5 minutes multiplied by 12 is equal to 60 minutes. Can you help me to figure this out? In your opinion, does this picture show 40 minutes? Let's find the answer together. Look at the green area. We will count together how many graduations fill in the area. We count from number 2 to number 8. Between 2 and 8, there are 30 graduations. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Although the minute hand points to the number 8, it does not mean the minute hand shows 40 minutes. You have proven that this picture does not show 40 minutes. This picture shows 30 minutes. You are awesome! Congratulations! You've already learned graduations on the clock's face. And you can also count how many minutes in the minute hand shows. Look at this first question. How many minutes is shown in this picture? 
Yes, correct. The answer is 20 minutes. Between 12 and 4, there are 20 graduations. It means 20 minutes. Second question. How many minutes is shown in this picture? Yes, the answer is 45 minutes. Between 12 and 9, there are 45 graduations. The answer is 45 minutes. Woo! You are getting better at this topic. Last question. How many minutes is shown in this picture? Yes, exactly. The answer is 50 minutes. Between 12 and 10, there are 50 graduations. So, the answer is 50 minutes. Do you want to try another question? Hmm. Let's solve these questions. Question A. Gra 35 graduations is equal to how many minutes? Yes. The answer is 35 minutes. You already know. That one graduation is one minute. Therefore, 35 graduations is 35 minutes. Can we solve question B now? The minute hand moves from 12 to 8. How many minutes does this mean? That's right! The minute hand moves from 12 to 8 has 40 graduations. So, the answer is 40 minutes. Okay, now look at the last question. How many minutes are there when a minute hand moves from 12 to 4. Have you got the answer? Yes, that's right. It is 20 minutes. When the minute hand moves from 12 to 4, it has 20 graduations. Therefore, the answer is 20 minutes. Aye? There is another question, apparently. I thought we have done all the questions. Shafiq returned from school at 6.30 in the evening. He walked home from school. Arriving home, his mother told him to rest for five minutes. Before dinner, he glanced at the clock on the wall. The clock shows seven o'clock in the evening. How many minutes did he take to walk home from school? Do you have the answer? From 6.30 to 7 o'clock, there are 30 minutes. Ah, you have to remember, Shafiq rested for 5 minutes. This means you have to take away 5 minutes. So, Shafiq walked for 25 minutes back from school. 
Oh, oh yes. Before I forget, Shafiq had dinner for a quarter of an hour. What is the actual graduation of this quarter? Can you explain? You have learnt before a quarter of an hour is one over four of the clock face. You have calculated a quarter of an hour equals 15 minutes. Do you remember one graduation is one minute or one minute is one graduation so 15 minutes is equal to 15 graduations or 15 graduations equals 15 minutes so did you have fun during the lesson let's recall what you have learned at the end of this lesson you have learned to recognize minute graduation on the clock's face and to solve problems involving daily life situations that's all for today see you in the next lesson. Bye!